So let's deep dive into our today's topic and let's talk about CI, CD and CD. But how does it work? Imagine you and your team are developing a fancy new video game. You're working on a character mechanic and you have two teammates, let's call them Bob and Matilda, who are working on different sections of your game. All of you are contributing to the same feature and that means that at some point in time you have to integrate your awesome little lines of code with the clever additions of the others to make sure that everything fits nice and tight and that the feature can be delivered with the next update of your game. And that's where the CI from CI CD and CD comes into play and helps you to merge all the changes to a new stable version. After that, and with a little support from the beloved CI-CD server like Jenkins, Bamboo, GitLab, GitHub or Drone, or whatever tool you would like to use, the latest merge code is taken from your repository into your build pipelines, where all the awesome automation begins to happen. Code gets built by the server, automatically tested and deployed through your staging environment, which might be hardware like an Android phone or a server with similar configurations as your productive system and that allows for further validation and acceptance testing. If all that is in a good shape, it can then be continuously deployed to your productive system like a canary server for beta testers or just to an artifactory or whatever binary repository your team is using. Great. Now that you have a glimpse of what CI, CD and CD is, let's talk about the benefits. It helps your team to ensure that Bob's, Matilda's and your code can be merged together. And it also helps to automate all the necessary but boring stuff to get your software shipped in quality. Meaning that it runs unit acceptance, integration and regression tests or whatever test you need in order to make sure that your software runs as expected and that the new lines of code did not break features that are already there. It also enables your team to get your new software version deployed to whatever production environment you have, without the need of Bob or Matilda uploading files and doing other manual crap by hand. And so you, Bob and Matilda can continue to develop awesome software or at least play some games with the time that you have saved by not doing all that stuff manually. But Enough of the theory, let's get into practice. What you see here is my personal library with all the information that my family and I store in our local network like a very small version of Wikipedia. Utilizing an approach that is called Docs as Coach, which I will explain in another video. So make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification button. The source code of the library project is stored in a software called GitLab which provides Git repositories as well as an awesome and easy to use CI CD capabilities. There's a thingy called Pipeline, which contains two jobs, one called Build, which describes how the server can build my library, another called Deploy, which tells the GitLab server how to deploy a new version of my library to the Raspberry Pi that runs the library software. In a more complex scenario, there can be more jobs like executing unit tests or even acceptance or regression tests, also on hardware like the Microsoft Xbox or an Android phone. But back to the code. Let's just add another chapter to the library and commit the changes to the Git repository. The server automatically starts building the latest version and if the building step was successful, it deploys our changes to the server and we can see it directly in our browser. So as always, let's summarize with all the fancy buzzwords that you need to Google for further knowledge about CI, CD and CD. Continuous integration and continuous delivery as well as continuous deployment or the enhanced version where the D stands for deployment allows software development teams to make sure that software developed within a team can be merged and shipped to the customer without manual effort at any given point in time. To do so, there is special software involved, like Jenkins, Bamboo, GitLab, GitHub, Drone, which utilizes pipelines to execute jobs, often described in a DSL or scripting language, on build servers, also often called runners. To do all the heavy lifting, like executing tests or deployment through staging environments, to make sure that your software is shippable at any point in time. Thanks a lot for watching my video about CI, CD and CD and don't forget to keep playing with computers. Like and subscribe and let me know 
What is your experience with CICD in your professional career as well as how you utilize it in your home network? My name is Christian and that was ILTP WC with everything you ever needed to know about CICD and CD.